Why hello there YouTubers, my name is Davo Dinkum, the former employee to Fat Pizza and I am here to make an important announcement, and that is the Sao Tome Topu Sentai has officially formed an Australian branch, with yours truly being one of its members. To write, since the time I got sacked during the last two seasons of Fat Pizza, I've pretty much been hitting rock bottom, since those events. Even the dole isn't enough to keep up my usual lifestyle. But it wasn't until my usual dealer by the name of Redis P. Redis came hat up came to me, with an offer I couldn't refuse. And yes, Redis lives, despite these false rumors of his untimely passing, probably spread by that Drongo Prude joking from Redis's old TV show The Ferals. But anyways, let's hear more about the newly formed Aussie branch from our proud chairman. Was it lost well for fetters? The name's Frankie Falzoni and unlike my poopy mecha praying cousin Paulie Falzoni from Fat Pizza, I'm not some butthurt stooge that gets all uppity over their feet. In fact, Potophilia happens to be my main money-making bag. Oh, Struth Nates, being head of the Sunnyvale branch of the Tendo Brothel is the sweetest deal and has put us number one on the block. We have quite the influx of onion organs coming into our place of business almost every day, man, including my best mate Aaron Dazza Jones and his de facto Sharon Shazza Smith. Speaking of which man, word has it that Daz and Shazza were recruited into a pot affiliate group just recently. In fact, I think it was some redneck yang who gave them their indoctrination. Hopefully DJ Swell69 or some other YouTuber will make a secret missing episode of Houses to pick up on these Lonza events at some point. Wink. Let's yummy for time! For the fall! Oh, butter, just like that Poojee need to stick his brown nose in, erg. But anyways, man, things may have been getting shaky around here, since the anti-foot Rondo Rocky Shikazla and his cousin Havu formed that drug deal and gave Rottle game the Sunnyvale Assassins. But if it's a turf war they want, man, then they better watch out, cause I got my pimp phone ready to slap those cunts back to foot ass on the beyond. Now then, I should mention that recently we've added a new member into our Aussie branch, and that would be no other than Rebecca Huck, better known as Tank Girl from the Swell British, made Aussie-inspired comic book by the same name. In fact, why don't we let our next member give you more details? All right, man, take the stage. G'day, my name is Bugga, a mutant kangaroo and Becky's main squeeze from the Tank Girl comics. Too right, me and Becky are definitely an item, and don't pretend that the idea of an interspecies relationship between a raging gung-ho Aussie human and a genetically mutated kangaroo doesn't crack your fat. And speaking of bonza fat cracks, I am a raging podophilic fleshy and seeing Becky's smooth pink meat cushions always makes my love snag hard and springy every time I see them. Oh beauty, it's just as swell as it sounds. Now for those of you who were misled from our live action movie, which made me come off as the ripper equivalent of Matthew Lillard, trust me mates, I'm more of a bad arse than you could ever imagine. Now then, rumor has it that recently that Pangea Prude BP Richfield has bought out the water and power company in Foodophobia to convert it into the new headquarters for the We Say So Corporation. Well whether or not that's the case, you can bet your last drop of foot sweat that me and Becky will be rocking the revolution against the prude tyranny in Foodophobia faster than you can say Bob's your uncle, and good night Irene, it's gonna be one ripper of a fight, wink. Well Gordon Bennett, looks like those bloody drongos in Foodophobia are gonna have their work cut out for them, hata ha. Now for a quick addendum. Recently our Japanese member Ryu knows Kei Fujinami, along with my old bunion buddy Sleep the Elite, are in the works of starting their own foot food business, a chain of beachside restaurants which they are calling Drum in the Sun. Which is sure to be the number one beachside foot food service in both Japan and Australia. Oh bugger I can't wait to get my drink on and my snack on at one of those places, wink. Well I've got to get going. It's a second Thursday and I need to get me a fresh supply from my favorite rodent dealer. Here are my swell foot fapping clientele.